Okay, wait, let me put this hair back because it's getting on my nerves. It's just so much hair. I think I'm going to go get it um, thinned out a little bit from my hairstylist because it's just, it's just a lot. <laughs> okay. Oh, you see what I mean? Just see what I mean? Now I gotta go get another one. Can't find another hair tie, so we're just gonna try to clip it back. My cats take all my hair ties and hide them. I don't know where they go or what happens to them, but they disappear. Okay, I just need you out of my face, please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that took forever. So welcome back to my channel, guys. I know I've been gone for a little bit, so I figured that I would come on here, do like a get ready with me because I need to get ready for the day anyway, but also just kind of do like a chit chat, update you on life, what's been going on, what is the current situation of this house, and like all that good stuff. So let's just go ahead and jump in. I'm just going to be doing my makeup and talking to you guys. So you guys know that we just came back from Los Angeles, and if you don't follow me on Snapchat, you probably didn't see like why I was out in LA, but the reason that we we're out in LA is because we actually just got an apartment in LA. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> we got an apartment with Carly and Brett because we travel out to LA so much that it just made sense to get an apartment out there. Uh, I don't know if we would ever want to live out there full time just because LA is so crazy. Like, so many people just everywhere. <laughs> Here where I live, I feel like there's a lot of people, but then you go to LA and you're like, oh my god. We go to Target. And there's just a million people in Target. You go to my Target, there's like six people in there. I'm like, yes, this is what I like. So I don't know if I could ever live in LA full time, but part time, I could probably do. So that was exciting. So we were out there just um, getting getting stuff ready. Get like beds and furniture and TV and get like the cable and everything hooked up. So that's what we were doing. I wanted to vlog to, you know, show you guys what was going on, but let me show you my camera. I already um, switched the lenses, but I actually dropped the camera. So if you have this Sony camera, be very careful. I have dropped it before and never noticed anything crazy. Um, I do have the both versions of the camera. I have the 5100 and then the 5000. The 5100 is way better, FYI. But luckily, the lenses are exactly the same because I dropped this camera and the lens wouldn't open. So I had to wait till I got home to put this lens on it because I didn't want to buy another lens because I knew I had this one at home that I never use. So the lens didn't open the whole time. So that was a big bummer, but there was really nothing in the apartment. So next time we go back, I'll make sure to vlog and show you guys the deal and all that. We got there on a Thursday night and we were like, oh, it's no problem. We'll be able to get beds that day. Not a problem. Well, we couldn't get beds on Thursday. So we actually had to sleep on the floor. And I can't remember the last time I actually had to sleep on the floor. Not like sleep on the floor with like an air mattress or like a mattress on the floor. I mean like sleep on the hard ass floor. All we had was like two pillows and a blanket. Needless to say, we all woke up the next day like, ah, must get beds. We got beds the next day, luckily. We didn't get a couch because of course the couch that we wanted, they didn't have. So there's no couch or anything in the apartment. It's literally just a TV in the living room and beds in the bedroom. But it'll get there, it'll get there, it'll get there. I'm gonna be using the uh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I have not tried it on myself yet. I did do a shoot for Best Damn Beauty when I was out in LA. If you guys saw my Snapchat, I was at the Hangover 3 house. So it was like you were on top of the world. Um, but the artist did use the Makeup Forever HD on me. So I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to... I don't know. I don't know. Let's just try it out. I have the two colors that I um, normally have, which is 130 and 155, which really translates to R330 and R370 in the new colors. So I'm just going to shake these up really quick. This, this is not attractive. <laughs> And I'm just going to mix these together on the back of my hand to give me the color that I want. They seem a little like um, more liquidy than the regular HD. I'm just going to tap that on with this finger to get it off. And then I'm going to apply it with a foundation brush just all over the face. The makeup artist that was doing my makeup for the shoot, she is actually like the lead makeup artist at Makeup Forever in Hollywood, like, I think it's off Robertson, so West Hollywood. And she was saying that sometimes this foundation won't look so great on person, but on camera, it'll look, like, amazing. I want it to look good in person, too, though. <laughs> and then I'm just going to buff it out with a damp beauty blender. This is actually really damp. 
let's talk about this house because I know a lot of people were leaving comments like oh my god are you moving to LA I thought you were buying your house what is going on so many people are like she's not moving to LA she just bought her house the update on that is I'm not buying this house and the reason is I had just bought my mom a house a little while ago like about six months ago or so and that kind of put a little er on this house because I would have to do like I'm gonna get like so adult on you guys for a second which I hate but to buy this house I would have had to done an investment loan which means you have to put more money down on the house and your interest rates are higher and it's just like a lot more annoying than doing like a conventional loan if you were just buying a house for the first time so many obstacles kept getting in the way of buying this house that I started to like second guess it and I always listen to my intuition because I feel like it's never steered me wrong so something was just like nagging me and nagging me and I was like don't buy this house don't buy this house so 15 days before we were supposed to close I like changed my mind I was like you know what I just don't want to buy this house I don't want to be locked into something for 30 years that started to really like make me nervous I'm putting an extra I'm putting another layer of this um, HD foundation on just because I feel like I want a little more coverage so being locked into th a 30 year loan was really like ah! to me because I don't know I don't like adult things I guess and then I was like I don't know if I want to live in this house for 30 years or I don't know if I want to live in this area for 30 years and it just seemed like so many things were like deterring me from buying this house and I'm not saying that like things should like come easily or anything but like when so many things are like happening you have to like really second guess it so like I said my intuition just was like you know what don't buy this house don't buy this house so we're not buying this house which means we're moving literally in three weeks we're moving <laughs> I'm actually excited about the place that we're moving to though. The only part that I'm not excited about is like to pack all this up. This actually looks pretty good on the skin in person to me. I think it looks better than the regular HD because the regular HD, I don't know, like sometimes it would seem like drying to me. So I'd mix it with like the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk to give me like a little more like dewiness. But I like this so far. The best part to me about this house was just the location of it, but where we're moving, I actually really like the location. We're actually closer to the airport, which to me is like super important. <laughs> the only part that I ever worry about about moving is the cats, because, you know, cats are creatures of habit and they don't really like change. I swear, like, people, like, realtors, like, because we've been looking at places, you know, to rent, and I'm like, well, I, I need to make sure my cats can go out, and everyone's like, this lady, like, a psychopath about her cats. I'm like, they're my children. They're very important to me, and I want to make sure that they're happy. People are just like, okay, weirdo. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I'm going to do my brows off camera really quick. Really quick. Because I, I don't think I can talk and do these brows. I can barely do them when I'm not talking, so I'll be right back. Cheryl, what else has been going on? I did a shoot for Bestie and Beauty. We shot at the Hangover 3 house, which was like eight miles like up this mountain, like so crazy. You know, I live in Florida. We have no mountains, things, nothing. Everything is just flat. So it was super crazy. It was actually really scary to drive up that hill. I was like, oh, are we going to make it? Because it just seemed like the car was like, wah, 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 like going up the hill. And I thought we were going to be like, like all the way down. But we made it up and it was like the most beautiful scenery like I've ever seen like in my whole life which I don't know if that's sad or what but it was the most beautiful thing like I've ever seen like just mountains for like miles and miles like and like vineyards everywhere it was just, like absolutely gorgeous I'm just going to put a little concealer under these brows too because I have little hairs under there so this is how I like to hide the little hairs I have to go to the dentist tomorrow, which sucks. But I've had this like intense toothache since we've gotten back, which just has made me like a miserable bish. I've never had a child or anything, so a toothache to me is the worst pain in the entire world. Like it's just like non-stop throbbing painful because I actually chipped a tooth kind of a while ago and didn't go get it fixed, so I just, it's my own fault, I feel like. But I gotta go to the dentist tomorrow and I'm not excited. I feel like they don't know what they're gonna do to my teeth. Jeremy's birthday is in like 10 days and he's like the most difficult person in the world. What do you want for your birthday? I don't know. Where do you wanna go for your birthday? I don't know. Do you wanna do anything for your birthday? I don't know. 
what do you know? So I've been trying to figure out what I'm gonna get for him, and then my mom's birthday is like four days after his birthday. Like, how did I get so lucky? Why do both of their birthdays have to be so close to each other? What do you think I should get him for his birthday? Like, help me out. I feel like I have no idea. We've been together for six years, and I'm like, I, you have everything. What do you want? <laughs> These dark circles under my eyes, like, are so intense. Clearly, I need to get more sleep, or I need to get, like, I heard there was, like, some kind of laser treatment you could do, like, underneath your eyes to remove, like, the dark pigmentation under there. So, I don't know. I'm going to look into that and see what that is. Have any of you guys ever done that? Like, what do you guys do for your dark circles? Besides just layer on concealer like I do. <laughs> Oh, I didn't put a lip mask on. And I wanted to tell you guys a little something about the lip mask too because I know that when you get the lip mask, a lot of you have asked why mine looks all creamy like this and why when you get them they're kind of hard. That's just because how they're packed in there. So if you just take some kind of spatula and just whip it around in there, it'll make it more creamy for you. That's what I do to all of mine because I don't like when it's hard like that when I first get them. So this is a brand new one that I just whipped up like that. So I'm just going to take some and put it on my lip because I just realized that I don't have any on. Whoa, too much, too much. And if you have nails, use the back of your nail to get it out. It'll make it a lot easier for you. Keep it on the lip, please, on the lip. We also went to Namie's for the first time in LA. In Los well, I don't even know if it's in LA. People like thought we lived there like, yeah, you just gotta go over the canyon. I'm like, what? What do you what do you mean go over the canyon? I don't, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm taking an Uber. So yeah, we went to Nanny's for the first time, which is like this amazing makeup store. They have like everything. Everything. That was fun. Um, I was gonna do a Nanny's haul, but I was like, I feel like I've been doing so many hauls, so I'm just going to go with like a glowy look today. I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do, but I think I'm just gonna do like a simple glowy look because I like the glowy look this is from hot makeup and this is their luminous eyeshadow in little more little more and I'm just gonna put this on the the eyeball just the lid though and maybe like on the brow bone I think I'm gonna get on my snapchat right now and ask you guys to ask me some questions so we can do like a little Q&A also while we're filming videos. Hi, so I'm right in the middle of filming a video, but I am doing just like a random video. So send me questions on Snap and I'll answer them right now. Remember I told you guys I was gonna switch up my whole filming situations cause I was gonna make the back room back there like more of a studio and there's a piece of hair on me and it's driving me insane. Got it. So I was gonna make like the back room more of a studio. I don't know if I should make it like more studio-esque or keep this and have both. What do you guys like to see? Like, do you guys like to see like the background like this or do you guys like to like have a switch up of backgrounds? I think I'd like a switch up of backgrounds because I feel like I've just been filming in front of this area for so long that it kind of drains me. You guys have like crazy snap names so I was gonna try to say your snap name but it's just like intense. So somebody asked when I first started getting into makeup and I've always been down with makeup but I wasn't really allowed to wear makeup until I was 16. So I guess like right before that like when I was 14 and 15 I really started like getting into it like I could practice and put it on in my room but my mom was like you can't wear this out. So I would just always um <clears throat> practice and then like when I was 16 I like really got into it because I was allowed to wear it so I was like let me put everything on my face. I'll try to find like an old picture Hopefully I can put it in this video. I think there's like a throwback picture actually on my Instagram. I have like the thinnest eyebrows you've ever seen and I have like green and blue eyeshadow on. It's hilarious. Lenny Coco wants to know, if I were a sea animal, what would I be and why? I would be a dolphin because I think dolphins are like the badasses of the sea. Like even sharks are kind of scared of them and they're like um, an emotional animal. <laughs> So I would totally be a dolphin. <laughs> I'm gonna put lashes on, but I'm gonna put like some, actually let me put some mascara on first. I'm gonna put on these Demi Wispies right here. They're like great daytime lashes when you wanna have a lash, but you don't wanna have like a drag lash at, you know, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Go with these Demi Wispies. Is there just enough? Maria with 15 A's, one, two, three, four, wants to know what my favorite concealer is. I'm probably gonna have to say Pro Longwear, the concealer, just because I go back to it over and over and over again. Like, I think that I'm like falling out of love with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I don't know why, I just think it's like drying to me. I don't know, I used to be like so obsessed with it, and now I've just gone back to Pro Longwear. I think Pro Longwear 
creases the least amount on me personally. And the two colors that I use, I actually mix... I mix two colors. Okay, right here. I use NC30 and I use NW20. So a lot of you ask where I get these... Um, lash applicators. This one's from Social Eyes and it's the best one that I found because it's metal. Um, a lot of lashes will actually come with like little plastic ones and I just cannot with the little plastic ones. Me and the little plastic ones don't get along but this is like a lifesaver to me. I, I personally can't apply lashes with just my hands even when I don't have nails like I've always applied them with like a tweezer or something so remember to let your glue get tacky because the tackier your glue is the easier it is going to be for you to put your lash on. So I don't know how long I've waited, but I'm going to try to get this lash on anyways. And can I, this, this Ultra HD is looking mighty good on the skin. Mm-hmm, yes it is. See, it's just like a little natural lash. And a little update on the nails. Still obsessed, still think they're the best thing ever, especially for girls that are allergic to acrylic. Like if you can't get acrylic on your nails, ask if they have like SNS powder or ANC powder. They're the same thing. Oh. Okay, nice nostril shot. <laughs> if you could choose between in and out or sushi, what would it be? This is from Britt and Grayson. I don't like sushi. I know, people think it is crazy that I don't like sushi, but I don't like it. I don't like the te texture of it or something. I've tried to eat it multiple times because every time we're in LA, everyone's like, do you want to get sushi? Do you want to get sushi? I'm like, what, do people in LA only eat sushi? Like, take me to in and out So obviously. I'd have to pick in and out burger. Okay, I believe you. Jump in the line. Rock your body in time. Okay. That makes me want to watch Beetlejuice. And I kind of look like Beetlejuice today. <laughs> Except his stripes are the other way. <laughs> Somebody said, how many cats is the limit for you? I don't know. I don't think I could put a limit on the number of cats. Like, we were watching Total Divas, so I'm going to conceal real quick. I'm going to um, mix these two concealers together, which again is the MAC Pro Longwear, and it's NC30 and NW20. So I just do one pump of each on the back of my hand, and mix them together, and then use that to conceal. The number of cats that I think is too much. We were watching Total Divas. We, I think it was just a first look, though. I don't think it's on yet, but Natty, you know she's like a cat lady. She was doing somebody like a favor, like some cat shelter or something, and she took in like 19 cats, and Jeremy's like, no way, I would never let that happen. And I'm like, well, I would. I'm like, if somebody came to me and was like, hey, these cats need somewhere to live, or they're going to put them down, I'd be like, well, they can come live with me. Like, I don't know. I feel like cats are just so easy. It's not like having like 20 dogs. Like they're cats. Like they're self-sufficient and they just take care of themselves and mind their own business. So the more the merrier. This is looking extra white on camera. I, I don't know why everything always like looks more intense. But don't worry. We'll get rid of it. I just like to be bright under the eye because you guys see my dark circles. They are not cute. So... I just like to get those guys hidden. So the brush that I used to apply was the MAC 287, and I use this because I have nails now, and I just don't want anything to get like stuck underneath my nails, because I, I don't like that at all. And then the brush that I'm using to tap out with is the MAC 159, but a lot of people make this brush like a more inexpensive brush that's like totally the same is the Real Techniques like Duo Fiber Stippling Brush. It's like the same exact thing, I love it. And then I'll go in with the Beauty Blender to just really tap everything out. Okay, okay. Just use a really light hand when applying any powder onto your concealer because sometimes if you use like too heavy of a hand, you can get like little dots underneath your eyes. So just make sure you're using super, super light pressure under there to not disturb the concealer and to not create any like little, little dots is really what it is that you create underneath your eye. Let's get another question in. Am I talking too much? <sighs> if you could only choose one makeup item for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh! Oh! What would it be, Nicole? What would you choose? Ooh! Probably concealer, because I feel like you could use concealer for everything. I don't know what I would choose, but if I had to choose one, I'm gonna go with concealer, because I, I just love concealer, obviously. If you could be a flavor of pancake, what flavor would you be? I'm eating pancakes right now. <laughs> this is Big Meech, one, two, five. Um, I would be a blueberry pancake because blueberry pancakes are my favorite kind of pancake. 
This is the bronze fusion, which looks like this. I feel like I have a love hate with this. Sometimes I like it, and then sometimes I don't. But today, I'm gonna go with it. Oh, you know what somebody told me the other day? Because you guys know how I like do my makeup like this. Somebody was like, you know, I think that that's really messing up your eye because this eye is smaller than this eye. I'm like, well, this eye has been smaller than this eye for a long time. Like, I've always noticed that this is my smaller eye, which makes me mad. Like, I don't know. Like, what do people do to get their eye? Like, do people get, like, Botox shot in here to, like, open this up? Somebody was like, I think that that's your eye technique. You should really stop doing it. Like, they were so concerned for me. And I was like, oh, I appreciate your concernness, but I really had that little smaller eye for as long as I can remember. Oh, my eyes aren't symmetrical. Ah! Do you know that's how people distinguish like if someone's beautiful or not? Like how symmetrical your face is. That's how they determine beauty. So like the more symmetrical your face is, the more beautiful people think you are. Is that not crazy? I'm also going to use a little bit of this guy right here, which is subconscious. I just get so crazy with my bronzer because I know that I, ha I can clean it up and make it look good. And I kind of just slap it on the face. Slapping the base. What movie is that from? This shirt is so tight. I'm like, oh, about to bust out of it, I feel like. Uh, where'd my cameo powder go, though? But, like, where'd my powder go, though? Ugh. I have, like, banana powder down here, like, on this box. So I'm just going to use that powder that's down there. It's because this looks sloppy to me, and, and it makes me mad when it looks sloppy. So I'm just going to clean it up by putting a little banana powder right here. And letting it sit there. <laughs> this is hilarious that I'm picking it up off the box. So I don't do this because I want like a harsh contour line. I just do it because it cleans up any mistake that I've made. So I'm just gonna let that hang out there. Well, I'm actually looking for like a new concealer and um, foundation. I was wondering if you had any that you were like in love with like right at the moment. Like, at the moment, I love the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, but if that's a little pricey, L'Oreal True Match will be my favorite drugstore forever and ever and ever. I just think it is the best drugstore foundation, in my opinion, because it just gives you, like, a really dewy, healthy-looking skin. Um, and for concealer, like I said, I love the Pro Longwear concealers, but again, if that's too much, like, if that's too pricey for you, then I love the Maybelline Fit Me concealers. I think those are, like, perfection as well, and I actually use those all the time. Time. I like when you guys send me videos. Send me another one. Hey Nicole, I love you. Um, do you ever think about coming to Europe or uh, Look how dewy she looks. You go girl. Soup? Ooh, you got so many fans here in Norway. By the way, oh. how long have you and Jeremy been together and how did you meet? Oh. We just passed our six year mark um, June 8th. We've been together for six years crazy the longest relationship before Jeremy I ever had was no longer than two years I never made it to like two years with somebody I've had like four boyfriends before him and I never made it past two years so he's my true love I love him more than anything in the world um, and we actually met at a club like we found love in a hopeless place <laughs> there used to be this club here and it was called the green iguana which was like the most poppin place in the entire world like you had to be 21 to actually get in the club and i just remember like counting down to like my 21st like i can't wait to get in here and when i got in there i was like yeah like it was like the best thing ever um we actually met though when i was 23 a lot of you guys always ask how old I am, and I'm 29. I honestly feel like I'm 17. Like, I just feel like such a little kid. Like, anytime I have to do, like, adult things, I'm like, why do I have to do these things? Like, I hate it. I hate being a grown-up. I don't know. I don't think you're really a grown-up until you have kids. <laughs> but even my mom. My mom will be like, I don't feel like a grown-up. And I'm like, Mom, you're a grown-up. Six years, met in the club, so it is possible to find love in the club. Who made, who, was that Usher? The blush that I'm using is from Warm Soul, which I've been so, like, into and addicted to these past couple of weeks. Usually, like, I always, like, switch my blushes up, but I've just been so into this. It has, like, that sheen in it, too, because it's a mineralized blush, so it gives you, like, a glowy cheek, which I've been all about that. So I'm just gonna stipple that off a little bit. I'm gonna leave that powder sit there for as long as possible. 
when I tell people we've been together six years, obviously the next question is, well, why aren't you guys married yet? When are you going to get married? And I'm like, I don't feel the need to get married. Like, if I feel like I needed it, then, I mean, we would get married. Like, neither one of us are, like, opposed to it, but I just, I don't know. I just don't feel the need to be married. Like, we've been together for six years. Obviously, we're committed. <laughs> this is Jeremy as a little baby. Is he not the cutest? Like, does he not look like a Gerber baby? Hey, Nicole! Hi. Much love from Nicole. Our question is, where would you like to travel to if you had choice? Cuties. I would like to go to Australia. I think I told you guys that. But, like, it's so far away, so I don't know if I'll ever end up there. Want to know where you got your shirt that you're wearing? The shirt that I'm wearing, I think that I got it from Forever 21. Hi, Nicole. So I was wondering if there were, like, specific celebrities or anyone that inspired you to do your dramatic looks, and also if you could do any celebrity-inspired looks. By the way, I love you so much! You're so cute. I think that I just have, like, a really eclectic taste when it comes to, like, makeup. Like, I like all kinds of makeup. There's not really, like, one celebrity that, like, inspires me to do makeup. Um, I just like makeup on everybody but if you want to send me like some celebrity inspired looks that you guys would love to see then I would be happy to like create those for you it's just that I don't know I don't there's no like I'm trying to think of like one specific person that I like love their makeup but I honestly feel like everyone's makeup like looks the same right <laughs> Paul my question is are you going to be living fully in Los Angeles anytime soon or are you just gonna stay in the second apartment yes I love you I love you I told you guys that already that I'll just be out there port time. What's your favorite movie? I'm so like interested in knowing that for some reason. I know I'm weird, but I love you. I love you. We're weird. So that's why. <laughs> Um, my favorite movie, like, just a classic that I feel like I could watch over and over again. Like, I have two that I feel like I never get sick and tired of, and it's the movie Grease and the movie Clueless. Like, I can recite those movies word for word, and... I love them. So yeah, those two. Some of you guys want to know how old I am. 29. Ah! Hey girl, a little view of my makeup collection. It's nowhere near yours. That's okay. But I wanted to say that I freaking love you and I watch all of your videos. Thanks girl, I love you. They're like, they're like so young I feel like, and they're like, when are you going to have kids? Let us know. When are you gonna have kids? We're in a coffee shop. So yeah, I, I plan to have them soon. Everybody wants to know, like everybody, everybody in my whole life is like, when are you gonna have kids? When are you gonna have children? When are they coming? And I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, let me get finish my makeup. So I'm just gonna get this out of here now. And now we're more cleaned up. And now it is time to highlight the face. Hello? <laughs> The highlight I'm going to use is Gilded Honey from Laura Geller. Obsessed with this. And we're going to come in here. Ah. I'm going to put it under the brow bone. It's okay, Zini. And we're going to go here. I used to not like fan brushes to like highlight with. I don't know what I don't know what I was doing. I used to like that like tapered highlight brush from Sigma and I just like this one so much more. This is from Artist Couture but I mean you can find these fan brushes um, anywhere and then the ball on the nose. This is for Carly because she likes the ball on the nose <laughs> and then I just like to go right here. I don't really contour my nose but I'll highlight it and then here and then right here like like not on my chin but like in this like where like the scar on my chin is like that scar let's highlight it <laughs> a lot of people think that my teeth went through my bottom lip which sometimes I, I tell people that you know like oh my god did your teeth go through your lip I'm like yeah it was crazy and then I'm like no it's my baby bottle uh, I'm gonna go over I like to layer my highlights so I'm gonna go over with a little makeup forever a little on the nose down the bridge keep this bottle and the chin. And then I like to just go over one more time with the sibling brush to knock any excess product out. And yeah. I don't think I'm going to put mascara on the lower lashes right now. I mean, you can if you want to, but I'm going to try to leave it like open. Then for lip, I'm going to actually just leave my lip mask on and then throw on a gloss. I'm pretty sure this is like a discontinued gloss. It's from Makeup Forever. 
um, but any gloss will do. I've just been into putting like a gloss on and like nothing else. It's just easy, right? Voila! The finished face. Easy peasy. Just like that. Well, not just like that. You know what I mean. See how my camera tries me like this? Like, look at my background right now, like how blurry it is. Like, why can't it be that blurry all the time? Like, it'll just switch when it wants to. Sometimes it'll be super blurry like this, and then other times it's just how it was. Like, I'm filming on the same camera, same lens, and look at the background now. Why? What's been the best moment of your YouTube career? The best moment of my YouTube career was when I hit a million subscribers and I was at IMATS just surrounded by you guys. Like that was, I can't think of like a better way to hit like a million subscribers. Like it's, it was such like a landmark to me because I had been on YouTube for a while before I hit a million. Like nowadays you can get on YouTube and you can get a million subscribers in like less than a year. Like back when I started on YouTube, that's not how it was because it wasn't as popular as it was. So I, I actually really appreciate the fact that I had to work for my million subscribers, you know what I mean? Like, I knew what it was like to be making videos and have nobody watching your videos. Now I just feel like people get on here and they're like, ugh. Like, they just think they're the shit because, like, they grow so fast. I'm like, that's fine. But I appreciate, like, the come up that I had on YouTube. So that was definitely one of the greatest moments to me, was just being able to celebrate a million subscribers with all you guys surrounding me. So cool. Hi, Nicole. I'm here in vacation in Miami, and I just wanted to know some fun Nicole, things to do out here. things to do in Miami there's this really bomb place I think it's called mangoes and it's like right on South Beach get there early if you're gonna go because if you get there like late night there's like a line wrapped around the block but it's like a place that you can eat at and they do shows like every 15 minutes people are like dancing on the bar it's just like a really good time and I really really think it's called mangoes it's like right on South Beach oh just eating just eating some food over there all right girl Yes. Today's my birthday. Happy birthday! I locked it. You know I dropped my phone in the toilet two days ago? Had to go get a new one. What? Who does that? My mom was like, how did you drop your phone in the toilet? I was like, well, I had it in my back pocket and I pulled my pants down and it bloop! And I was like, ah! Can we go to Disney together? Please! I live in Tallahassee, which is like four hours away. I should totally do it. Girl, I'm ready. Just pack your bags, we're going to Disney. I think that is it for this video. I feel like this video is gonna be like 40 minutes long just because I've been talking so long in this video. I'm sorry if I talk too much. I feel like I filled you guys a lot in on this video. So we're not buying this house. We live in LA part time. We're gonna move in three weeks. Me and Jeremy have been together for six years. Um, I feel like I gave you guys a lot of info. So that is it for this video. I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys. Wish me luck for the dentist tomorrow. I'm nervous. Something about people putting their hands in your mouth. It just creeps me out. <laughs> So I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys except I love you. Thank you so much for watching and until next time I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.